we love our families, we love our community, and we love our environment. And these are three things that we think are worth fighting for. But these three things depend on one thing, and that's water. So it's pretty clear that we'll fight for our water. Now our water comes from the Mad River, it flows through a dam, it goes down 70 miles of river, and then we pump it out at the lower Mad River. We pump it out, we use it for our homes and businesses, and in the past we also had two pulp mills, and those pulp mills used a lot of water. They also paid a lot of money and, uh, and increased the revenue of the water district. But now those pulp mills are gone, so we don't have that revenue coming into the district, which means that our water rates are increasing. And that's a problem for us. This is a graph of our um, water use, and you can see where the two pulp mills, uh, where their water use went down. The red line, though, represents the water rights that we could lose. And so what's the big deal about losing our water rights? The state could take back our water rights since we don't use the water, and they could then grant or issue those water rights to somebody else. And we wouldn't have much uh, say so over who would get those water rights. So what the water district did was they figured, well, you know, we've got a water rates and a water rights problem. About three years ago, they um, created a, a water resources planning process, and they gathered up many people um, across our community uh, with varying interests. We had many, many, many meetings over three years, and um, we came up with three water use options. So generally, they are the first one, well, let's try to use the water in the district similarly to how the pulp mills did. And we found that even if we put the entire peninsula with breweries and Coca-Cola plants, we still wouldn't use the same amount of water that the pulp mills did. The second option that we came up with was, well, maybe we can transport the water to, p to places in California that need it, like Sonoma or Marin. We can pipe it, uh, tunnel, barge, that was option two. So option three is what we're calling the in-stream flow option. That's the one I want to talk about now. It simply means that why don't we use that water, the water from the water rights that we have and allow that water to flow down the river for environmental benefit. The, the portion of the water code that will allow us to do this is called section 1707. And so um, this option is also called the in-stream flow section 1707 option. And the thing that's somewhat exciting about this is that it has never been done before in California. And so we could definitely be on the cutting edge of that, setting an environmental precedent, a legal precedent. Um, there will be people who are very excited and will support this type of a um, water use option. Uh, say Friends of the River, Environmental Defense, a fund, NRDC, Natural Resources Defense Council. But there may be others who are less excited about this, for instance, Southern California water um, irrigation districts. So that's the state level fight that I see happening. But I think there's going to be a local level fight that we're going to have to deal with right here. Two things that we will probably end up discussing. First is, so, let's say we let a bunch of fresh water down the, down the river. That may be good for some species, like salmon, but it may not be so good for species, say, um, a longfin smelt, their uh, estuarine brackish fish. So that's something we'll have to discuss as a community. The second thing is, is we have this water rates, water rights problem, right? So fish don't pay water bills. So that's going, to be, that's going to affect our water rights. So we're also going to have to discuss, as a community, how much are we willing to pay for having an in-stream flow option, should we decide to do that. So here is my message to you. I've been using the word discuss to not scare anybody. But I really think it's going to be a fight. 
It's going to be a water fight, and it's okay to fight. It is very good. That's what we want to do. We want to fight it out. We'll be passionate. We'll be enthusiastic. We may even be angry at each other. But I think what we all realize is that these emotions come from our love of family, our love of community, and our love of this environment. So we will get together on this. I'm, I'm positive we can do this. We'll um, come out stronger, more forceful, resilient, flexible, just like water.